What's going on everybody, Mr. Lar back with another episode of God of War, and now we are going to continue on with the story. In the last episode we did another quest for Brock, and maybe it will run into Sindri soon. No wait, going the wrong way. I think, no, yeah, okay, this is the right way. No! Whatever, stupid bird. Anyway, we uh, changed up our armor, and I also changed up my runic abilities. I now have the laser. I've never actually used it before. And I changed this to this in the last episode, but never actually used it. Apparently it sticks it right into the ground. I didn't know that. That's kind of cool. Alright. These are two runic attacks I've actually never used, even in my uh, finished playthrough. So I kind of want to go check that out quick. Just a quick detour. Just come over here quickly. I'm pretty sure there's something up here. I can't do nothing with that. No, oh, no, I already got that. That do. The do. Do the do. That one do. Anyway. Uh, screw it. Let's just see what happens. Hellwalker means, uh, resistant to fucking the, uh, dude, Atreus, do your fucking job. Goodbye. What the fuck? I'm not doing this very smart. I have an idea. When a doubt Spartan rage. Never seen one of those before. They look like they walked straight out of hell. Formless substance used to the properties of various talismans. Cool. I actually don't have all the realm tears in my last playthrough either. I think I've got like just a few more. I think there's a talisman over here or a uh, travel rune or something. Probably a travel rune. These usually these chests usually have something important. Awesome. Going to Niflheim is like a nightmare, though. I don't know if I necessarily want to go there at low level. Oh shit! always wondered what became of him. All right, we're not. That's Fafnir, the dragon. All right, I changed my mind again. We are not doing the story yet. He's chained up. Perhaps we should keep an eye out for binding shrines and free the poor bastard. Hi, lads. I keep getting sidetracked by stuff. But it's cool stuff, so. Alright, maybe in the next episode we'll continue the story. You can you can parry the yellow ones, but not the red ones. Dude, fuck off. And there goes the armor. Oh, 
But I don't, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'll make the armor eventually, but I'm never really gonna use it. You gotta break these. Free the dragon. There's three of them. Rule of three in video games. Always no friend of mine. This little scroat was a constant source of annoyance amongst Aesir and Vanir alike. Then why free him? Trust the recently liberated brother. No one deserves to be held captive like this. Even a greedy little dwarf come dragon. Yeah, that seems like a fair point. You've never answered the boy's question, Head. How did this dwarf become a dragon? I don't know for certain, though I'd wager his penchant for stealing magical artifacts had something to do with it. Must have stolen the trinket from the wrong Banyan goddess. You can even hear him over the fighting. You messed up my combo. Dude, the baby. I... I, I'm like recording these all in succession. Like he just will not take a nap, no matter what I do. He, like he seems calm, and then he like wakes back up. I don't think. Nope. Boy. What does it say, boy? Fafnir's tail. Um, if you know Norse mythology, Fa I don't know if Fafnir was a dwarf in Norse mythology. I, if you knew it, Norse mythology, you knew he was a dragon the whole time. But um, who is the one that kills him? I think someone named Siegfried kills him and then becomes immortal through drinking his blood or being doused in his blood or something. Something about dragon blood made. Oh shit. Forgot about this. I'm gonna test this out. Didn't do too hot. I don't know if this lightning will affect them or not. Good advice. But right now I've got iframe, so... Shoot her! Shoot her! Dude, you ungrateful piece of shit dragon. I'm trying to frickin' free you. High frames. For gamers that don't know what that means, that means invincibility frames. Like, you can't get hurt during your actions. I imagine anyone watching this is a gamer and already knows that, but it doesn't hurt to explain it. Triceratops Dragon. The dragon designs in this game are actually pretty damn cool. Brilliant scale of the chain, rare enchantment, moderate perk activation, chance to grant blessing of runic when using a runic, I, just, I assume that makes your runic attack stronger. Dragon tier. And that's the first of three dragons you can free. Don't worry, I'll free them all. Um, I just gotta remember where a couple of them are. You kinda just stumble on them, they're not hard to walk past. Uh, I think another one, there's another one in the game that's optional, and then I think another one is just like directly in your way of progression. I'm not 100% sure if that's true. I just feel like that's what happened. I don't remember exactly. But don't worry, I'll get them all. 
All right, now we'll continue on with the story and see how far we can get within the next 20 minutes. Yeah, I don't know what triggers that, that troll to awaken, but I know sometime in the future he will be awake. Lemire, why don't you tell us the story of the giant that stole Thor's hammer? Happily, my boy. It involves your friend Freya, too, though I don't expect it's one story of time. To it off. The giant was called Thrym. And he proved cunning enough to make off with Mjolnir while the thunder lummox slept. Sadly for Thrym, he didn't always think with his brain. Though he had robbed the greatest giant killer of his greatest weapon, he offered to trade it back to the Aesir in exchange for Freya as his bride. Now, at this point, Freya was married to Odin, and Odin, frankly, would have traded her for a sufficiently strong mead, but he saw an opportunity here. I fucking love him here. Thrym's palace was in Jotunheim, and only giants know the way. By agreeing to the marriage, they'd have to escort Freya back to their realm. So, Odin coerced Freya into using her Sather magics to conceal Thor, so he could sneak along with her and infiltrate Jotunheim. When the hammer was produced as the wedding dowry, Thor revealed himself. He took back Mjolnir, and wasted no time in smashing Thrym's skull, followed by every other giant present for the festivities. The only thing that put a stop to it was Freya, who wanted no part of this massacre. She cast a powerful spell that hurtled them both out of Jotunheim with no means of return. Odin was livid, hoping that Thor's foot... I don't want to talk in the middle of these stories, so that's why I'm being quiet. He ever revenge himself upon Freya. What is the point of this story, Head? Well, for Thrym, the lesson would be to keep his priorities straight. For Freya, it's that doing good has a price. For Thor, it's that no object of power makes you what you are. And if what you are is the biggest butchering bastard in the Nine Realms, nobody can take that away from you. <laughs> I really hope there's either... A, like I said, supposedly they want to make this game a trilogy. And I really hope that they do. Oh, look. You who walks among the living, my beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace, yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's sather magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy, I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death, if only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. They've taken three of Sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Bring me her bones, child. Gulvig will reward you. I will do that, just not right now. Alright, so that's not breakable. Alright, cool. We'll do that maybe next episode. Maybe not, um... Because this sequence takes a little while. Um, when we finish what we're doing in here, we'll do that. If I even remember. I should remember. It's It'll be in my codex or something. Whatever it's called in this game. This chisel we seek. What is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <clears throat> there was a giant once named Famu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Right, I'm gonna let this play while I go deal with the baby. Famu hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Harimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Arimthur ran off into the night, feeling shame and regret 
Thamur chased after his son, but in his emotional state, soon found himself wandering mid I'm back. lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. Thor. And what happened next? You'll see. Unfortunately, he's rowing the boat super slow. The baby will not stop no matter what I do. Why is he rowing so slowly? Inconsistent. I think it has to do with dramatic timing. There's no way he's hungry. I fed him. I hit the fucking thing again. I gotta turn my hat around or something. Alright, I'm gonna make a cut here. I'm gonna go make the baby a bottle. Maybe that'll calm him down. I don't really know why he's crying. He's been fed. Maybe he's still hungry. Uh, hold on. Let me let this play first. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. Okay, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back, and he's apparently just being a pig. And... See that? That big, scaly rock? Is just an actual person. And look. There's the hammer we saw up in the distance. And there's his hand. Let's see, I know you can see his head from somewhere. Let's find out where we can see his head from. Oh, there's another wolver. That's why you want to increase his his stunning. Is that another wolver or an ogre? Oh, it's another wolver. You want to increase his stun abilities and his damage output. That's why you always want to remember to upgrade Atreus as well. Makes bitches out of these otherwise fairly strong creatures. What just happened? Oh, I see what's happening. Okay. This is just his ring. This is just a giant's ring. Crazy. And yet. Atreus told us, oh, that's just their name. They're not actually giants. Yet, just about every giant you see your hero is actually a giant. Weird to think about. Alright, let's go. Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath throws everything. Another one of these things. This is locked up good. Let's see, it's over here. You dirty rat. That was interesting. It actually kind of broke a little bit. Alright, we go over here because we explore. We want all the loots. Runic Wormskin Pauldron. I don't even like them, honestly. I don't think they look good. I don't really like the look of these arm guards either, personally. There's his head. There he is. 
Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. So there's his arm. Enemies. Wait a minute, is he cut like in half? What is this? I don't know. Fuck you, wolf buddy. Look at all that stun damage he's doing. It's fucking great. Speaking of which, what am I... Let's give him some more. Let's increase his fire right now. You're kinda scary some An all fine light crystal. Wonder what it's for. Um Tip added. Wrong thing. Can you read it? See what it says. In Njord, we offer back the seas back. Ah, yes. It was believed that Njord calmed the winds and seas for the fishermen. Hmm. They loved and worshipped him here. Don't remember what doing this does. Oh, shit. Yep. There's a health thing around here somewhere. Right there. Oh, it's not even necessarily health. Could very well just be a runic thing. Come on, little oh, bitch. Alright, I need this to look like an E. E or triangle thing. E or. Alright. And there's one more somewhere. There's a lot of treasures in this area, so don't just like rush through. Be sure to get them all. There's the other part of that. Eh. My defense will stay the same, my runic will go up, and my strength will go down. Not worth it. My runic's already fine. Alright, I don't see... Yeah, that's like probably a runic attack, if I had to guess. Well, how do I get that down, then? Oh, I know how. Duh. I just wish you could run faster, like, like sure, I w I'd be okay with not running fast, but like, I wish there was like an option to run faster, like you can, like you hit the rush button, he runs like at a slighter, more of a jog. <laughs> that was kind of adorable, I didn't know that was in the game. Oh boy, let this not be a fight, please. Is that one of the realm tears? Did I do that in my other playthrough? I don't even think I did that. Maybe that's one of the ones I'm missing. That's kind of cool. Alright, where's this other thing? Right there. And it needs to be the triangle y one. Did I overshoot it? 
I just went into like nothing. Come on, Kratos. Get your head in the game. Thing. Oh yeah, I do meet Sindri up here. Alright, let's see what we got. Because I don't remember. But imagine it's a runic attack. I gotta say, I don't care much for that laser. Increased damage by axe throws by 6%. It had to be one of these, right? My runic will go down. That's fine. I love throwing the axe. My cooldown seems to have gone up though, so fair trade. Honestly, it's probably a fair trade. Sure they're not stronger, but I can use them more. Plus, boom! I love throwing the axe. It just makes sense that I have an axe throwing. Look at the beard on it; like it looks fucking great. Every hair is moving. That's some real attention to detail. I killed two of them in one go, and then that, that was awesome. Alright. Get this cutscene, and then I think there's an ambush, and then I'll call it. How are we getting down there? I have a plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother, but I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. I'm sure he could. Boy. Freddy. Yep. And that's why... Ah, you son of a bitch. I'd imagine that's a damage over time type thing. Like, if they walk in it, they'll take damage, right? Well, I guess we'll never know now. Yes. Nope. Not taking on two two ogres at once. Oh, I've never seen that before. That was awesome. He just chucked the Draugr at me. I think that's it. I think he's the last one left. I was just about to say, like, is there a time limit? Do, like, do I fall off? Check around, see if there's any more loots on the ground. Healing. 
healing I don't really need. Let's go talk to Sindri and then call the episode. Five solids, nice. A lot of fucking hacks. And we got a lot of experience. Well, let's start maxing out our... Our, um... What do you want to call it? Our, uh... Our Spartan Rage Mode. Oh, I'm too short for that. That's fine. What is this? Oh yeah, that's the switch stance mode for the hand-to-hand -hand combat. Alright. That's fine. Our Spartan Rage is getting stronger. I probably should have like saved it for Atreus, like I said I was gonna do, but I forgot. Wow, that was uh, something that uh, fight. Here, catch. Well that was a waste of a perfect the catch. Good How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. This is actually kind of cool. More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so it sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh, it doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> Your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could turn you off. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of rude. You let him touch this again. All right, clearly Brock must be stronger than him. Come on, then. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water drop. He stepped between rows. Okay, now shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. All they do is just hit it once with a hammer. Alright, he doesn't have a side mission for us, and I don't really think there's anything I can do. Or, no, I can get... I can get this now. My defense suffers, but my runic and strength go up. Screw it, this way I match. Fuck it. Chest armor. Fuck yeah. I don't suppose you could try keeping that clean. They're maxed out. I think that's a keeper. Get successful. Don't have enough Svartalheim steel for that. And I'm guessing I don't have enough again. I have enough for this. I'm gonna max this out. No, I like the look of this, except for the bracers. I just don't like the look of the gloves. But, um, that's where I'm gonna call this one, so be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hold on. Knowing you, it doesn't involve I have a favor to ask. Just a small favor, really. But how do we move forward? What? He does have one. Remember the dagger you gave him. All right. Stabbed him to the reaver's back. His own son killed him. Yeah, I haven't forgotten that one. Well, I traced it to a group of reavers that operate out of the Northry stronghold. I'd wager that's where they took their haul from Fafnir's storeroom, along with that whetstone that I could use to help you. <sighs> well, I can't do that now, but. I kind of interrupted what talking about the plan. The treasure hunt. Pointless. Well, not if Sindri really can make us better equipment with that whetstone. So much like Plus, stuff going on that I want to hear. The son. He murdered his father. 
Anyway, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications, and I will see you in the next one.